Alright, is there anything else that I can possibly do on this island right now? I got the sail. Uh, there's that guy over there. I don't think I'm gonna talk. Oh, it's Mario. I never talked to Mario. Hey there, boy. Did you happen to see the post box down near the docks? Well, just so you know, if you want to send someone a letter, just set it to YZRX and use that button to put the put in the post box. It's just that easy. Before long, the real postman will come to deliver to whomever. Is that a real word, whomever? You've sent it to. He's a hard-working fellow, I tell you. Yeah, sure, Mr. Infomercial. Seriously, that, that guy was talking like an infomercial for the post box. <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here, and I've got a great new product for you. It's called the Post Box. Why, young sir? I must say, you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? Uh, but I stole it. I stole it from a stolen person, so I don't know. There can be no villains among the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time. Look around. I implore you, heart. Dude, what's with all the hearts in this game? Everyone's in love with me. Alright. Uh, so, there's not much to do around here. Uh, I guess I can head in here and see what's going on. Whoa. We got a bunch of pictos on the wall. Pictos on the wall? <laughs> Pictographs, I mean. But they're all in, like, sepia. Oh, ho, 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 Aren't these some finely sat pictographs? You must admit it. Oh, my God. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. That's, uh, you, but that, with that beard and combined with that, you totally fit the description of a pedophile. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls are, have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was tireless sailing, I was tireless sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. Uh, I don't think I have time to do that. You can look at these later if you want. I might come back and show them later, but for now, I think I just want to move on with other stuff. Because that is boring. That's just another giant wall of text for you to read if you do that. Uh, I think there's something else I can do here if you wait for him to come back downstairs, but we ain't got time for that. Oh... There's, I'm thinking that there's something I'm completely forgetting to do here, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Ow. Uh, there's this whole little archway section here. This is really cool. I would totally love to, like, just stand up here and watch the passers-by. Um. Uh, no, I'm not talking to the Gibdo again. <laughs> the Gibdo. <laughs> Alright, uh, I swear to God, there is something I'm forgetting. Is it in here? It might be. I don't know. I think this is this is just the rich guy's house, though. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. All right. The thrill, a thrilling night of money and desire. This way, the auction house, floor one. Floor one of two. Seriously, you don't really have to specify that. And there's another sign over here, actually. Act. Can I read it though? Okay. Notice, windfall auction tonight. Bidding starts at dusk. All comers welcome. All comers welcome? That's nasty, man. Alright, we got some shiny pots here. Maybe there's plenty of rupees in them if we break it. You little weasel! What? Oh, but that's what I do. I see shiny stuff and break it. Well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high-priced vases. If you break any more, I assure you that I shall that I shall not let it go lightly. No, sir, not at all. I shall require... Compensation. Well, if you're sporting that mustache, I'm su I'm surprised that other people haven't come in here to break your shit. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think it's enough dilly dallying around Windfall Island. There's plenty to do here. I don't think I can do too much more of it though right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move out. Time to go forth to the Great Sea, just like the King of Red Lions said. Stay away from me. Alright, so let's round the bend, and oh, he's gonna talk to me right away. Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well. Then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail you got with Y, Z, or X, and press that same button to hoist it. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The arrow that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. 
Use the control stick to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press A to put away your sail, or pull away your sail. Try it when you when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? Uh, sure. Wait, what happens if I say no? I see. Then allow me to explain it again. Yeah, I figured. I don't know why I'm so curious to say no all the time. Uh, ah, one more thing. When you are out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. Your sheet, your sheet heart. <laughs> your sea heart. I have marked the place where you should currently be heading for, for on your sea chart. If you head out to sea, simply press C up and you open the chart. Not C up. Didn't I already make that mistake once before? To open the chart and confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let it carry us to the east. That sentence always confused me in the past because that, like, a westerly wind taking us east didn't make sense to me. But now I understand that westerly wind actually means the wind is coming from the west, so that makes a lot more sense now. And if you actually check out your sea chart now, you'll see that there's those four squiggly lines surrounding that one quadrant over there, and that is our goal. So, say goodbye to Windfall Island, guys. We're finally setting off, setting off to sail. And we've got this amazing music to accompany us, too. Seriously, this is some of the best music in any Zelda game, this ocean theme. But you hear it so much that the value of it kind of wears off on you at some point. Oh, so... Now comes the big question. Am I going to leave in... Like, how much of this sailing can I possibly leave in? I'm not going to leave in all the, whole, the sailing throughout the whole game, don't worry. But if it's just a short little trip like this, I might as well just leave it. I mean, look, we're already reaching this island. You don't have to stop at this island here if you don't want to. In fact, it's probably advisable not to because you can't do much here. We're probably going to be stopping here about three or four times throughout the game as we get more items. As far as I remember, anyways. There, But there's this over here, too. Can I do this now? Yeah! Mighty fine boat you got there, Bo! You must be searching for treasure on the sea floor too, aren't you? Ha <laughs> ha You won't get any from us, Bob. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, Bob. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some other things that I've never heard of. <laughs> oh, he's got his little Oompa Loompas there. You know, with all the weak island dwellers who, who, who never leave their shores, I'm amazed, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. Why is my boat craning his neck like that? That can't be healthy for you. I like your style, Bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So, hey, Bub, tell you what. As one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it. If you if you want a haul of treasure, come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nar. What about yet? But we know. We got a treasure chart. That's three of 41. Did I say that before? Yeah, there's 41 treasure charts in this game. So, get that's going to be a lot of paperwork to go through. Yeah, he tells you about how to access treasure charts and how to haul them up. And he spoiled an item there, so I tried to skip the text as fast as possible. Alrighty, tr little treasure buddy. Best luck to all of us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> They're so adorable. Alright, yeah, I guess I can show that off, though. Here's the treasure charts. We got treasure chart 7. Yeah, I like to open these pretty much all as soon as I like get them. Here's Tingle's chart by the way. <laughs> it's very cruddly drawn. But it is funny because when you close this chart <laughs> you get a little honking sound. Alright, um I'm up to forty minutes here. So I think I can go at least exploring this island a little bit and then we'll uh just call it a video. Alright, to reach Dragon Bruce Island, head east from here. Dude I know that. What do you think I'm some kind of I'm some kind of failure? Alright. Uh, I seem to remember that if you get on top of this thing, yeah, there's rupees that come out. I don't know how that works, but it's cool. That's all I know. And there's actually, I didn't know this until a lot, like, until my most recent run, too. I didn't know about those rupees on there. And then I tried it with this other one, and amazingly, you actually get on top, and there's a blue chew jelly here. I seriously didn't know you could access one of those this early in the game, but there you go. Oh yeah, so you got some blue chew jelly. Keep it in your spoiled bag. Deep within blue chew chews is a gelatinous essence that is said to be a magical cure-all. But unfortunately, it can't be used in its current form. I don't know why it looks really... <laughs> I always love the look of chew drops in this game. 
They are so cool. Yeah, so we can crawl into this egg, too. That's what this looks like. It's Eggman's Fort or something. And, of course, we got a hole in the ground here. And how do you just roll into that tiny little tree? That is hilarious. Yeah, see, this is normally the first type of chew you run into, is the red chew. But apparently you can run into the blue one first. Watch out with those blue ones, though, because if you wait too long, they'll become electric, and you literally can't beat them at that point. At least not at this point in the game. You get some red chew jelly! Yep, this gelatinous goo comes from deep within red chew choo chews. Oh. Personally, I like the word gelatinous essence more than gelatinous goo, but... I don't know. I guess I'm just not a big fan of the collic colloquial terms. Right, uh... Or colloquial, as the case may be. At least not when describing stuff like goo. Like, ugh. ew, goo. Dude, I'm running into these trees left and right. I can understand if they were as wide as, like, the palm trees in Super Mario Sunshine, but not when there's tiny little skinny fuck ones. Alright. And we got a treasure chest here. A very spiky one at that. Where have we seen this before? Oh, I can't wait to see what's inside. I literally can't. Because that's our fourth heart piece! Yay! We complete a new heart container. So we're gonna be going to, like, our first real dungeon with four hearts. Which is just mind-blowing. You can't do that in too many games, actually. I think probably the only one, other one you can do that in so far is, twi is Majora's Mask. Stop running into those damn trees! Did you see that? I ran into, like, five of them. Probably more than that. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, oh, something I didn't explain about these blue chews over here, too, is that there's, like, ti there's like typically one per island. There's not one on every island. And once you kill that one, uh, you can't get another blue chew jelly from it. So you can't grind off the same one over and over again. You actually have to, like, collect them as you go. But as you see there, it drops a yellow rupee when you do that. Uh, oh, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, is, do I have time? Oh my god, that boat was yawning. The boat was yawning. I don't know if you. I don't know if I caught that. Oh, I love showing that off when the boat yawns. It's the most hilarious thing because he opens his mouth a lot wider than you would expect him to. I mean, he's a boat. You wouldn't expect him to open his mouth at all. But I mean, he talks, so he ha kind of has to. All right, I guess I can show this off as a kind of end of video thing. Because I am I literally need to stop recording here. Oh, I have plenty of homework to do and I can't be dilly-dallying around. Oh, but I, I might as well just get it out, get all these boring elements of the game out of the way. Like, these platforms, these are pretty monotonous to do. But I'm going to try to show them all off. Yeah, in several sectors in the game, in most sectors in the game, actually, there's going to be these platforms around. And usually there's a few monsters on them. And you can totally destroy them. They're pretty easy. <coughs> They're usually pretty easy, like these Bokoblins and stuff. Sometimes you'll come across harder ones, though, like Whiz Robes, and... Uh, there might be an Iron Knuckle on one of them, actually. I don't remember. Oh, uh, I seem to remember that vividly, though, so... And when you defeat the little monsters, you might get a treasure for it, too. Usually these treasures aren't that great. There's a few per platforms in particular where the treasures are good. Usually they're probably just rupees or spoils or something, though. So that's going to be that. And I think that's going to be that for this video, too. And this recording. I'm seriously... I'm zonked, and I'm running out of space on my hard drive. And I have homework to do. You know. Is that Beetle Shop Ship? Oh my god, I didn't know that was patrolling this. Oh my... <laughs> Man, that's two times that I've caught the boat yawning in the same video. And the camera was right up in his face each time. Alright, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and dock over here by Beetle. Oh no, collision! Ah, boom! Yeah, so I'll just stand on Beetle's dock. And I think next time, we're going to progress over to Dragon Roost Island. Let's see if we can get a good look at that, too. Uh, where is it? Um, can I not get a good look at it? Uh, oh, there it is. It's off in the distance. It's that big honking tower. So, next time we journey forth to there... This is kind of an optical illusion. It looks like I'm moving forward, actually. Am I moving forward? Oh my god! I'm moving forward! Holy crap! What? My boat! Dude! My boat! Oh! <laughs> How will we resolve this dilemma? 
find out next time on Let's Play The Wind Waker. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night. Beetle, you asshole. Oh, he just can't, I can't believe that just happened.